Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. What's going on, everybody? This is Jay, the Nose Nose, back with another review. Now, hold on. Before you start thinking like, oh my gosh, this guy here is back to pump up another review of another fragrance or something of that nature. That's not the case in point. Actually, I'm here to do the complete and utter opposite. As always, if you can smell, hit that bell. Like, subscribe, comment, and go ahead and hit that bell so every time your boy drops a new video, you go ahead and get notified. You can pull that thing up on your Android or your iPhone and sneak it on your lunch break or sneak it at work when you ain't supposed to have no telephone at your desk. Do me that option. We're going over the top three fragrances from Alexandria I do not like. Honest review. I asked the guy inbox on Facebook. Now, when they inboxed me on Facebook, they said, Jay, Every time you talk about Alexandria fragrances, only thing you do is just give them raving reviews. Why don't you give us an honest review about three that you don't like? So that's what I'm here to do. In order for me to do that, I got to go to the bag of tricks. So give me one second. Even though I'm dressed like this, don't get it misconstrued. I always walk around with the bag of tricks, you know? So give me one second and let's see what's up in here. Now, shout out to the special person on the Alexandria Facebook group who actually reached out to me and said, Jay, we want you to expand your horizons and you need to broaden your reach of perfumes, colognes, and special scents of water. So I said, you know what? I'm cool. I'm cool with that. And guess what they did? They sent me some goodies. I feel like uh, back on the East Coast with the vials. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Late 80s, early 90s. <laughs> this is the vials. Uh, this is that Donald Trump, that Donald Trump, this is that Donald Trump, it's going to make America great again, going to make America great again. If y'all know, y'all know. If y'all don't know, probably went over y'all head. Probably under your... Everybody new to the channel, and for everybody who has not ever seen me dislike a frag, I call it the series Duster Juice. Every time we don't like something, we're going to put it in a dumpster. You ever know what a dumpster smells like? Have y'all ever smelled... Like whenever a dumpster gets empty and then therefore that, that juice is just leaking out. Yeah, this is what this is called. The first one we're going to be going over is Trey Pot. Trey Pot is going to be an inspiration of Roja Dove's Diagolev. Diagolev is, first of all, it's extremely high. It's 1050 1050 bucks for a 100 ml bottle. That is beyond excessive beyond crazy, and guess what? Beyond my means. Now, Roja does Diaghilev, or Alexandria Fragrances Trepak, has been known to be described as animalic, floral, fruity, smells like leather, and you get some spices here and there. Right? But people have also described it as smelling like dirty, raunchy sex. Kind of like, love. <laughs> I love the word raunchy. Uh, it's been described also as opulent, um, luxurious, um, absolutely stunning, impressive, not for me, this is what the people say in the masses, again, this is all subjective, I'm not saying I'm right, I'm not saying I'm wrong, I'm just speaking my truth and just giving you all my honest observation. Now with this particular juice, with Trey Park, you do not need to overspray, you need to underspray on this, I mean one to two sprays and that's it, because this thing is going to pre-pro- and whatever else jet. It's gonna project, man. Like now Rosa Dove's uh Diagolev or Alexandra Fragrances Tray Pack. Now this is gonna be a symphony of notes. And when I say a symphony of notes, I mean this thing is super duper complex. I mean you're gonna have notes like lime, bergamot, orange, rose, jasmine, violet, black currant, um, nutmeg, lang lang, um, Vanilla, levels, musk, and the list goes on and 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 on. Like I told you all, this thing is super duper complex. Now, Trey Park will get you noticed, but I don't know if you're going to be able to get any compliments from this thing. Again, people may look at you, but it may not be like, it may be like, and for that reason, got to go through the free throw line. I've already made my shot, this is an and one. Dumpster juice. Official. Dumpster juice. Official. Now the second one on the list that we're going to be going over is going to be none other than Valley of the Kings, which is 
an inspiration of Zerzhov's Richwood. Hmm. Where shall we begin? Now, they have said that this thing does have a citrus opening, but it is also known as a rose bomb. A rose bomb. I'm not a big rose fan, so just let me go ahead and put that out there right now. But it's a rose bomb with a citrus opening. Zerzhov's Richwood or Alexandria Fragrances, Valley of the Kings, has been described as the following. Described as classy, subtle, complicated, expensive smelling, high quality. And just like the previous one I just got to describing, please, and I reiterate again, do not overspray. I recommend for you to underspray. Underspray meaning one to two sprays max, and that is it because this thing emits like crazy. And it's going to last, 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 and it's going to project, project, project. So anything that you overspray, it becomes annoying, yo. Like people get mad at you even arrive. I don't even care if it's your grandmother and you her favorite. She's going to tell you get the hell away and come back next year. For the name. Are also complicated. Again, if you're not a connoisseur of fragrances, if you're not a connoisseur of cologne, please wait later on down the line in order for you to appreciate something like this. Because guess what? If you smell it, It'll make you not even want to take a bath and use no body wash. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? It's potent. Valley of the King are going to be bergamot, grapefruit, mandarin. You're going to get your smoky, your spices. Uh, you're also going to get your patchouli. You're also going to get your sandalwood. And again, you're going to get your rose in here. Again, this is one of the ones I just truly don't like. I don't know. Shoot me. Well, guys, like I told you, this last one may just piss you off. Nostalgia. Nostalgia, man, is um, it's an inspiration of none other than Mason Francis Carajan's Oud Satin Mood. It smells good. I had the opportunity to uh, smell it like in depth, the original. Um, and... Nostalgia nails it down. Like all of these are pretty much 99.8% on up. Honestly. I mean, they're perfect inspirations. They do the OGs or the inspirations due diligence and does it some justice. This is one of those um, cloying type of fragrances. Uh, it does get super medicinal um, as well. Um, it kind of like reminds you of going to a family reunion and you got your favorite aunt, but then she just put on some horrible cologne or put some horrible perfume and you walk around smelling like your aunt for like two or three days and you just can't shake it. Yeah, this is what this reminds you of, that annoying aunt at the family reunion, which is not in the bottle. Um, this is one that you don't need to overspray as well. Like I said, all three of these, man, are something that you just don't need to overspray. Um, they're so potent and they're so strong. Two sprays will have you walking around smelling like, yeah, the future. Like, it's that strong. People have described this as kind of like some expensive baby powder. Um, this is one that you don't need to overspray as well. Like I said, all three of these, man, are something that you just don't need to overspray. Um, they're so potent and they're so strong. Two sprays will have you walking around smelling like, yeah, the future. Again, guys, I just want to go ahead and give you all a quick review of the ones that just didn't sit well with me. Um, don't get it misconstrued. Don't think that I don't uh, find any value or I can't appreciate these type of fragrances. Um, please don't try to get it. Uh, don't try to judge me based on my appearance. I'm just at home relaxing today. I work from home. I was able to work remotely. And guess what? At the end of the workday, I want to be able to go ahead and give you all my review and give you all an honest review. You know, again, man, I have the vials here. I have plenty of samples to choose from. And these are just three that stood out to me without looking at the inspirations or the originals that I was just like, you know what? I won't wear these. These are ones that I will never have to worry about putting in my wish list or putting in my basket and checking out. Hell no. Like, I will not do it and I refuse to do it. Guys, if you all like this review, as always, do me a favor. Go ahead and like and comment. Uh, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Even tell a friend to tell a friend to tell an enemy. I don't care. Have them all come here. I don't care if it's good, bad, pros, cons. 
I like to hear it all. I like to give good, honest feedback, and I like to go ahead and have good constructive criticism as well because that's the only way that you can grow, and that's what I want to do. So everybody smell good. Be great. If you smell, hit that bell. This is Jay the Nose Nose. Have a good one.